25, the president under fire for new remarks on the deadly violence in Charlottesville. Mr. Trump returning to his first theme of blaming both sides. Critics blasting the president for again seeming to give cover to white supremacists. CBS reporter Brooke Silva Braga on the fiery remarks from the president today. Brooke. Hi, Alan and Veronica. Well, at this very contentious press conference, the president said the press has deliberately misreported those violent clashes in Charlottesville. He said some of the alt-right protesters may have been neo-Nazis, but many were good people. He pointed out that the counter-protesters didn't have a permit to be there, and he said much of the violence was their fault. Blame? Yes, I think there's blame on both sides. A defiant President Trump issued his third response in a week to the race fueled clashes in Charlottesville, Virginia, placing blame on what he called the alt left. You, you had a group on one side that was bad, and you had a group on the other side that was also very violent. And nobody wants to say that, but I'll say it right now. What about the alt left that came charging at the, as you say, the alt right? Do they have any semblance of guilt. So what about the fact they came charging, that they came charging with clubs in their hands, swinging clubs? Do they have any problem? I think they do. Sorry. So, you know, as far as I'm concerned, that was a horrible, horrible day. Just a day after calling out the hate groups involved by name, today Mr. Trump sympathized with others. He says we're just there protesting the removal of a Confederate statue from a public park. Many of those people were there to protest the taking down of the statue of Robert E. Lee. So, this week it's Robert E. Lee. I noticed that Stonewall Jackson's coming down. I wonder, is it George Washington next week? And is it Thomas Jefferson the week after? You know, you, all, you really do have to ask yourself, where does it stop? The combative press conference here at Trump Tower was supposed to be about infrastructure, but the president was repeatedly pressed on issues of race. And asked his thoughts about the alleged driver of the car that plowed into counter protesters Saturday, killing Heather Heyer. I think the driver of the car is a disgrace to himself, his family, and this country. And that is, you can call it terrorism, you can call it murder. In a statement, House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi said the president's, quote, talk of blame on many sides ignores the abhorrent evil of white supremacism. Virginia Democrat Mark Warner tweeted, no words. The Republican response was also swift and strong. Republican Senator Marco Rubio tweeting that you can't allow white supremacists to share only part of the blame. Cory Gardner, the Republican senator from Colorado, called the president's comments unacceptable. And the House Speaker Paul Ryan tweeted, we must be clear, white supremacy is repulsive. There can be no moral ambiguity. At Trump Tower, New York, Brooks Silva KPAX 5. Well, just how bad is the fallout for the president? Well, probably never a good sign when a former KKK leader offers his congratulations. Former Grand Wizard David Duke tweeted, Thank you, President Trump, for your honesty and courage to tell the truth about Charlottesville and condemn the leftist terrorists.